Hello, 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 guys. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So this is Father Preach, your Pinoy nurse here in Singapore. So for my today's content, guys, I'm going to talk about hospital ward politics. Is there any politics in hospital? So I know you all know what means by ward politics, right? Is there any hospital ward politics here in Singapore? So before that, before you continue watching my content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Yep. Yes, I really believe that in every organization, there's always work politics in every country, either it's Philippines, Singapore, Myanmar, US, Australia, New Zealand. Work politics is always there. And I believe it's because we're just human. It's human behavior. So, yep, like what I've written here in my phone, I believe every, every organization has work politics. But my advice, one of my advice, guys, be the person who will not be involved in work politics. Okay? Be the person who will not be involved in work politics. So, but my disclaimer, guys, uh, reason uh, is not because I, it, this content is not because not only because of my personal experience and don't think it's because of my current inst institution where I work. It's basically what I observe, what my colleagues tell me, what my friends experience as well, okay? And also guys, uh, please, 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 if you know where I work, just no need to tell, uh, no need to put in comment section, okay? Just be, we just need to be discreet. So, reason why I'm also sharing this is for you to be able to deal, to know how to deal it. Not, I mean, to, to be aware, to be more aware about this, okay? So, like what I said, we all wanted to get promoted, right? Is it? Like, we all wanted to get promoted? Is it only me? I think if, like, you have ambition in life, uh, <laughs> definitely you want to be promoted, right? Maybe some people just be contented to be in that position. But if you feel like you work so hard and you deserve to be promoted, yep. And if you never get it, then you might think that it's because of politics, lah. It's, it's correct, right? You always think that you never get that opportunities, you never get that promotion. It's because work politics, lah. Your boss doesn't like you and etc. So, actually, there's a lot of factors lah. So, I've listed so what, what do I think, what do, what is the factor that I think that, uh, what, what, <laughs> can, I, can I explain? What are the factors because of, uh, for this word politics? First in my list is, um, they said if you are good in bootlicking, what do I mean by bootlicking? If you're just very good in talking to your boss, then most probably your, uh, <laughs> Most probably your career for your career growth will be very fast. That's what they saying like, for those who haven't get promoted or anything. And because this person know how to bootlick, know how to talk talk nice to the boss. That's why he he or she managed to get that post. It's very common, right? They will always tell about this. So if you're good in bootlicking, then yeah, definitely you will have a better opportunity. But if you're not that type of person, then just pray to God that someone will notice you. <laughs> someone will notice you and will fight for you. Okay? So that is the first in my list. Just I believe you just need to be you just need to be yourself. Eventually, uh, uh, someone will really defend you. Okay. So second is I believe uh, what also races also plays a part with this. Uh, I'm not saying that in Singapore there's a racism or anything, but if you go to either I mean you go west Western country Australia New Zealand US or even in the Philippines, um, you will see that some race will be they will be more invariable on that or maybe because uh, majority race uh, majority of the race in that institution is that race that's why they get the the position very fast so i think it's happening to everywhere because like what i said we're all human it's human behavior i believe so and i don't want to dig more about this topic but maybe some of you will not agree maybe some of you will be feel offended but it is it is it is what i feel or maybe some of my friends feel but it's, it is real so comment down below for those who don't agree about my second factor which is race so yeah uh, next is credential what do i mean by about credential Credential, like example, you are graduate with master degree, etc. So if you have a lot of credential, definitely you will get, you will go to the climb, to the peak in a very very fast way. So, but sometimes, yep. Uh, I also believe in a way that uh, skills will really take time. Uh, doesn't mean that you keep studying and everything, but hands-on skill is also you need to polish it. So, but I don't want to comment also more about this. I hope some people understand what I say, but. This is what I observe as well. So, what is the purpose of this? Why do I am telling the factors? So, having having telling me all these factors makes you, I believe, it will make you realize on how to deal with work politics. I guess, but please remember that uh, you just need to be yourself, lah. As long as you never step to anyone's foot, you never hurt anyone. Be yourself, and eventually, if you're not hurting anyone and you're doing your best, people will appreciate you. Some people will appreciate you, and those who don't appreciate you. Uh, maybe that person, he or she, uh, has reason why. But having said that, uh, just remember that there's always reason why you are experiencing it. And, and if it's really meant for you, then someone will really defend you. And make sure as well that if you think that 
there's nothing happening in your current situation in example there's no progress at all make sure that you open up that with your boss and if your boss or manager never do anything you need to be have an open communication right never do anything make sure just leave my one of my advice to leave because it's mentally draining if you will stay there so but also you must always have a plan b plan c plan c plan d and like what they said once once a door closed another window will open <laughs> always believe in that another window will open so and so guys uh, be careful for those be careful those like those boss like who just smile, smile in front of you but event but end up when you're not around anymore uh it will not so doesn't support you at all sometimes uh, guys uh, remember uh, sometimes those people you don't expect will support you will be the one who will support you and those you expect to support you will is not really supporting you at all so but you don't need to feel you don't need to hold any grudges with them lah. maybe they have the reason why they are doing that to you so it's a cycle of life i guess it's a cycle for you to learn and you need like something that you need to experience so actually i was thinking like in future if i become a leader or anything uh whatever i experienced before i will make sure that once i lead once i started to have my subordinate etc i will never be uh i will always be a fair fair manager or anything if in case like if i reach to that level that's i promise to myself i will always be fair and not biased and will always have open communication with my subordinates in future okay in case i'm not sure when is that going to happen and if i'm going to reach to that point but if i if i reach to that point i promise to myself that i will do that i also just want to share as well that some people really reach to that point that they don't bother anymore about position about they just love what they're doing i haven't reached to that point now that ah, i just don't bother because i love what i'm doing but you just need to be also practical like we need money with with, with money with career growth and everything there's an increase uh, salary and everything so i have one of one of my boss keep telling that like if you really love what you're doing it will not affect you it work politics will not affect you and you will be like a, a role model and people will follow you hopefully in future i'll be like that but i'm i'm trying i'm trying my best to be there okay then what are my tips so just be yourself accept criticism you just need to reflect by the way make sure that you reflect to yourself what's happening and everything maybe maybe there's also something wrong with you <laughs> that's why you never get what you want and earlier what i said open communication with your colleagues manager and etc okay so nothing happened resign make sure before you sign you got plan b plan c plan d okay if there's happening if there's a growth keep be loyal and those who support you be loyal with them and those who doesn't support you just forgive them <laughs> or those who doesn't support you what you need to say just don't preach don't like some people said uh, don't burn the bridges just just forgive them maybe they just maybe be they have the reason and whatever reason is it uh we don't need to know that they have their own reason which is eventually sooner or later also you will think oh maybe this is the reason okay okay so i hope you've learned something new again in this content and okay yeah uh, disclaimer again uh, don't think that is about my current workplace okay never think that maybe it's because of my friend who share who share their experience or maybe some of my colleagues who share the experience yeah so you just really need to be strong to deal with this work politics and if you are not strong enough definitely it will like uh kill you mentally and make sure that you always have work life balance i think that's one of the important thing uh, i think that's it bye bye thank you for watching